Hello athletes and fans of bodybuilding, Tarek El Gindi with the Mr. Olympia. Let's go straight to London. Great show, congratulations to promoter Ian Constable. Man, in men's bodybuilding, huge battle. Bruno Santos, Andrea Presti, and Lewis Breed. These guys, they went on a war, yes. And Bruno Santos prevailed. Man, he's got massive arms. He's got the flaring quads. His conditioning was very good. I think Bruno Santos, when he grows and fulfills his potential, I think this guy is gonna be awesome, amazing. Congratulations to Andrea Presti. Great conditioning. We're gonna need a little bit more of the legs. And Lewis, man, he continues to get better. That back double biceps was incredible. We gotta contain the abdominal section. Great event, Bruno Santos, another Brazilian, going to the Mr. Olympia. In the 212, Muzi Monster. Man, this guy looked dense, massive. A lot of times when I'm covering the 212, I say, well, he needs to get a little bit more size to compete against the big boys. Not him, he's got all the size in the world. He's dense and he's got the conditioning. This is one guy that can make an impact immediately. Muzi Maluleki, he is great. His nickname is AKA The Monster and I can see why. Moving on to classic physique. Yes, Julio Simões, AKA Gorilla, another Brazilian. The Brazilians are invading. Man, a lot of people didn't give him enough credit. They said, you know what? He's no Ramon, he's no Zancanelli. He'll never make it. Well, he put an end to that story. He came into London, peeled to the bone, massive. He's gaining size, he's becoming a better bodybuilder, and he posed to minimize his waist. Congratulations, going to the Mr. Olympia. In the men's physique, we have a double down. Yes, Alessandro Cavanola. He won last week, and he wins this week. I think he was a little bit tighter this week, but man, that's what I recommend our competitors to do. You compete twice, you get to know exactly what works and what doesn't work, and I think now he's gonna be even more dangerous for the Mr. Olympia. In the wheelchair, Blake Colton. Guys, this guy has big arms, he came in with good conditioning and good mass. If he continues to add the mass, if he continues to add the conditioning, he can really be one of those guys that surprises at the Olympia. Congratulations. In the women's bodybuilding from Italy, Nadia Cataposto. Man, look at this conditioning. She was the star of the show. Again, great conditioning, great posing. And like I always mention, she minimized her waist with the posing. She is going to be formidable at the Mr. Olympia. I think Nadia and Muzi, they can make an impact immediately. Moving on to the women's physique, Barbara Minaj from France. She's been to the Olympia. She's an experienced competitor, master poser, man. She's a beauty posing. She's got the legs. I just think she can gain a little bit more muscle on the upper body to match her lower body. And then the physique is gonna be a little bit more balanced. Congratulations. In the figure, Sarah Kivink. Man, great conditioning, peeled. Again, this was one of the best shows when it comes to conditioning. She can gain a little bit more on the lats. She can gain a little bit more on the quads to make the waist look smaller. But her conditioning was impeccable. She needs to duplicate this effort at the Olympia and not change a thing. In the wellness, another Brazilian. Man, Camille Lewis, she turned pro in Romania with me. She went straight to London and earned her qualification for the Mr. Olympia. Guys, sometimes there's no time to wait. There's no off season. If you're already in shape, jump in the pro show and like Camille, you can make it to the Olympia. Congratulations. She's gonna have to grow the glutes and grow the legs to go against Franciele Matos and some of the top girls. But I commend her. She's not scared of anybody. She went to London and beat a lot of veterans. Congratulations. In the bikini, Adriana Kosmarek. She's also experienced. She's been to the Mr. Olympia. She's got beautiful lines. I just think she can fill up a little bit. Just fill up a little bit, get that frame a little bit bigger, gain maybe about two, three pounds, pose a little bit faster, and she can be very formidable. Congratulations. In the fitness, Michaela Pavleova. She's been to the Mr. Olympia. This is her second Olympia. 
She's got great two piece, great back, great legs, great conditioning. And she's also very dangerous on the fitness routine because she can land and already do her choreography. She has the ability to surprise people. She's one of those girls that nobody's talking about, but I think she can surprise a lot of people at the 2024 Mr. Olympia. Let's go to San Antonio where Tamara Barrett wins. Man, she's got great legs and great separation on the legs, but she can add a little bit more back width. If she has a little bit more back width, she'll match the legs. A lot of times I'm telling competitors, you need to add the legs to match the back. She is the opposite. She's got great legs, great separation. The lats are a little bit high. If she just emphasizes the back width, she's gonna be complete. Congratulations. Moving on to bikini, Ashley Hampton. Man, beautiful physique. Look at those lines. She's got beautiful, perfect lines. She poses well. But again, just like Adriana in London, she's gonna have to come in fuller. Your opponent is Laura Lee Chapados, Amy Delgado, Ashley Kowalser, Maureen Blanquisco. And Maureen Blanquisco, if she's full, she's comparable with the same height as Ashley Hampton. So she has to look at Maureen and say, you know what? That's somebody that can be my reference to get into that top five. Congratulations, great job. In the men's physique, Barack Ozil, great physique. He's got very thick back. Look at that back. I mean, just thickness. You know that guy loves to work out back. From the front, he's got the abs, he's got the obliques, maybe a little bit more chest, and in the tanning, get a little bit darker, young man. That's gonna help you. Congratulations. Moving on to Florida, Ariana Brothers wins. Man, don't forget about Ariana Brothers. Last year, she placed seventh at the Mr. Olympia. There were a lot of people that won this year, but nobody was as impressive as her in her pro debut at the Olympia. And in 2023, she placed seventh. That's a sign that Ariana Brothers can attack right now that top five. She's tall and athletic, and she has a beautiful softness to her physique. The separation between glutes and hamstrings is soft. She's a soft, beautiful physique, and I love that about bikini. Once again, talking about softness in bikini, we are not going to have people that are extremely conditioned in bikini, and I think a lot of the competitors know that. Congratulations to the competitors. This was an amazing weekend in bodybuilding. I want you to go right now Right now, www.olympiaproductions.com. Get your pay-per-view right now because this is gonna be memorable. And then, once you get your pay-per-view, you are gonna go to www.mrolympia.com and get all the information for the Olympia. The schedule, the watch party, everything is gonna be there. And I'm going to broadcast, yes, Listen to this. I'm going to broadcast the check-in live on Olympia TV. You're going to see your favorite competitor going to check-ins. You're going to see the nervousness. You're going to see everything at Olympia TV. We'll see you next time.